Okay, uh, welcome uh, to this pre-race interview series. Uh, we are at Jur Næset, where the races are start coming in and getting ready for tomorrow's World Championship of Swim Run. Uh, I'm gonna have some uh, guests here on into the studio, talking to some of the top teams in the different categories for tomorrow's race. And what better start than to start with the team that has the current world record in the men's category, the reigning champions uh, from last year, uh, Hugo Tormento and Max Andersson. Welcome! Thank you so much, Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think uh, the weather is good? Looking good. For now, it's looking good. Uh, it seems like tomorrow is going to be a bit like this in the morning, and shiny in the afternoon. So yeah, we're looking forward for that. Yeah, the conditions are good this year. I think it. Uh, everyone has been a little bit afraid of the waters being colder than normal, but I think it will be. It will be fine tomorrow. Good. Okay, for the people who uh, don't know you. Uh, I guess everybody in the swim run community does, but for people who are new to the sport, Max, uh, you have 10 World Series wins, so you started to get to know the sport and doing it successfully. You won uh, in 221, the first time I think with Adriel. So Correct. you've been working quick uh, up the ranks and uh, you're the current world record holder last year with Hugo this year as well. And that was the first podium also on the world. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, I have done the world champs two times before last year. Uh, I finished top 10-ish, I don't remember exactly now. Uh, but yeah, last year was my first time on the podium and obviously first time win. Big step to go from top 10 to winning the race. Uh, obviously it's, it's a big step, but it didn't feel that big at the time. I think I have uh, worked up some good experience on the two first times I did the world champs. So uh, last year I felt ready. Uh, but obviously you never know if you're going to be top one or top three or top five or top ten, but a good day. Yeah. And Hugo, you have 12 World Series wins, topping up for ten, uh, Max is <laughs> 10. <laughs> and you mm. did your first World Championship or you, your first podium in 2021 uh, with Mathieu. Yeah, exactly. But you, went already, you won your first already in 2019, so you're, you're young, but uh, still been around uh, for quite some years in the sport. Um, yeah, what's your thoughts about tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow will be really challenging. Uh, we, we are looking forward for this one. There's a good field, a really strong one with some good French teams and Swedish teams. And yeah, we've we, we done a good job all the year long. Uh, last week hasn't been the, the best we could have wished, but uh, it's, it's how it is. And uh, yeah, ready to, to, to show the guns out and see what we can sort out of it. So, Max, uh, I mean, everybody wants to know how, how your shape is. How's the training been the last month leading into the race? Are you, a lot of people are talking about sub seven. I mean, for me, these times are just getting more and more ridiculous <laughs> how fast this race is getting. Um, how's the training been leading up to, to, this, to this race? The training has been really good this summer, actually. Uh, it was uh, a little bit this spring, I had some issues with, uh, with COVID, but the summer training has been, been really good. And the last month I've been Almost every session has gone as I planned. I have done the work as I, as I planned. So yeah, the, the shape should be there. I feel ready, but you never know until you stand on that starting line if you are ready. But uh, shape should be there. Training is done, work is done. Yeah. Hugo, uh, you're from France. I mean, I, I said uh, last night to you, I think you're a big contributor that the sport is growing so quickly in, in France. Looking at your main competition tomorrow, you, do you think maybe a French team with William, for example, or who do you look at your biggest, biggest competition for tomorrow's race? Oh, I think the two, two French teams will be really strong. The one with William and Alexi, for sure, and the one with Tom and Mathieu, my ex-partner. Yeah. They will be really strong, both of them. Um, Mathieu and, uh, and, and Tom are really good swimmers, so I think we will see, saw, see them uh, from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and uh, Alexi and William are well-experienced guys. They are really fast runners. Uh, we, we've seen in the Yota that uh, William is really, really fast. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be challenging and interesting to see um, how they will manage this on, on their own way. Yeah, it's great to have people pushing you. Uh, the the other categories. I mean, you you you're really in the sports and have a lot of knowledge. Like for the viewers following the other sports, do you have some. Uh, um, what's your picks for the women's and the mixed category? 
Max? Mm, yeah, I would say I think uh, Amanda Nilsson has been close to winning the mixed category a couple of times. I think this is this is her year. Yeah. So Amanda and Adriel is my pick for the mixed category. Uh, and the women I, is tight. I will let you go pick the women's category. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh. Uh, we, we just learned that uh, Desi will uh, show up with Anna, and uh, I think uh, regarding what Anna just done and Vazalopet, was yeah, it is? Yeah. Uh, I think both of them will be really strong on Monday and they will sort out mm. yeah. the win, yeah. I think. Okay guys, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, you are totally great champions, role models for, for just old and new people in the sport. Thank you for sharing with your time, coming here and giving us you know, your thoughts about tomorrow. Just now focusing on your thing, getting ready, getting rest up. So good luck tomorrow. Thanks Thank a lot. you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us.